Hey, you know, although my channel is all about motivating people to get a motorcycle when I talk about the awesome things about bikes, but there are some bad things about bikes. But you need to know this before you get a motorcycle because there's a lot of soft people out there that can't deal with these bad things. But I'm going to tell you about them in this video. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. If you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe. All of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. Obviously the number one bad thing about motorcycles is that they're perceived as being dangerous, right? They got a bad reputation. And you know, it doesn't help that people like Cycle Cruiser, uh, you know, acting like a hooligan out here. Busting wheelies, acting a fool out here. It, it, it further makes motorcycles look bad. <laughs> so when you ride a motorcycle, people may look at you funny. Some people, especially older folks, that don't take too kindly to uh, bikers. And uh, especially if you're wearing the all black and you're on the Harley, they may think you're part of a gang or something. That's something you got to deal with. But I know some of you guys are sensitive and you worry about the way other people perceive you. So you need to know that. I say the number one thing that I honestly that I even that, that kind of irritates me with motorcycles but it's it, it's not enough for me to stop riding motorcycles but I tell you when you put on a helmet and if you got a little bit longer hair and you pull your helmet off after a ride you got bad hair <laughs> you got helmet head man <laughs> that's an irritation that's you know for those of you that never rode before and you put a helmet on that's why some people don't wear helmets but I'm telling you, I'd rather deal with that bad hair when you get up, take your helmet off than to actually not have a head or your head's bashed in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not that bad. But I say another bad thing is these cars don't respect us out here on the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have cars that try to swipe you going past you. Uh, you're going to have cars that's going to try to pull out in front of you. Um, you're going to have people yell disrespectful things to you out of their window, call you names sometimes. Uh, and then you got some other a-holes that are bikers that'll say, get a, get a real bike or something. If you're on, I don't know, not a Harley Davidson here in Ohio and you're on anything other than a Harley Davidson. So you're going to get some disrespect. Yeah, that thing's slow as hell. What's that? As a motorcycle rider, you need to understand that. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a crap. I, I find it all entertaining when people yell stuff out of the window. But a lot of times I get cool, you know, a lot of praise. They're like, oh, awesome bike. You know, most of that, you get very rarely do I get disrespect. But sometimes you do, and you got to deal with it. But these car drivers will disrespect you. They will try to pull out on you. And, and uh, you know what I'm saying? That's why I stick to, I to like riding out in the country. But every now and then I venture into the city here like I'm doing right now, um, which is really not that much fun to me, but it's nice to mix it up every now and then, especially for the channel. But I say another bad thing about bikes is that you got to constantly keep the chain clean. You know what I'm saying? You have to. Now I see some of you fools out here that don't keep your chain clean and it ends up rusty. And then next thing you know, that's dangerous. It can end up popping off and uh it can you know you want to keep up with your chain you know, and all these things are not a big deal but you got to know about them for you noobs out there you know what i'm saying because a lot of you guys that haven't ridden a long time you don't you don't and you start getting disrespected for some people you're like what the heck man that's not nice don't be you know now we live in this pc world now you know what i'm saying we gotta be polit politically correct or you're you know you're deemed uh they'll, they'll cancel you out so a lot of softies out here today. I don't know if they're putting estrogen in the water or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> Seriously, man. But that's why I'm doing this video. Because I want you to know. I don't want you to get a motorcycle and then, then you these things, you know, get disrespected or cars try to hit you or something. That's why I tell you, you got to ride defensively out here on the streets. I, I preach it in every in a lot of my videos. But you gotta ride as though every one of these cars are gonna kill you. Like you're seeing that car is gonna pull out on you or this car is gonna swipe you or a car is gonna nail you from the back. You gotta keep looking in your mirrors. 
you know it's just something that's part of riding and some people they can't deal with that you know what I'm saying and then if they don't do it they end up getting hurt out here on the streets um, and you know then they blame the motorcycle the motorcycle gets the bad rep you know as being dangerous when it's the rider that lacks defensive riding skills it's not wearing full gear a lot of times and then when they have an effed up day it's the motorcycles fault which is BS you know but I tell you this guys is that none of these things should keep you from riding <laughs> because I tell you the good things about riding a motorcycle far outweigh the bad things the number one good thing about riding is the visceral feel that you get especially when you're riding a 450 supermoto out here not in this traffic though when you're out in the country roads you can bust some wheelies and and uh rip the throttle here and there Woo! oh yeah baby and have some fun enjoy the bike but also in the city though it saves you on on gas instead of driving your car it's cheaper actually commuting on your bike which I don't know how you guys do it because if I do it like I said I'm going to work looking busted man if I don't I don't you know I have my own business so I don't work at a job but if I did and I commuted on a motorcycle I go in there looking jacked up man coming in my head all messed up and got to go in there and comb it in the face I come in there with some all sweated up <laughs> looking looking bad looking rough boy some of you guys keep the low cut haircut and you take your helmet off you look fresh but anyways guys leave a comment below what are some other things that you see uh, perceive as being bad for a bike or good or whatever leave a comment let's talk about it man I know some of you guys are probably going to get at me for doing a video talking bad about motorcycles but hey I gotta let the noobs out there know what's up man because so many people quit riding because they can't deal with some of these bad things <laughs> that are really not that bad though but anyways guys make sure to hit thumbs up really helps my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button it will have you a little bit of fun out here <laughs> Supermoto life, baby. Repping that supermoto life. Yeah. I'm never going to grow up. I'm not going to get that Harley.